Jetting off to tropical beaches or soaring down the slopes, traveling during spring break can be an exciting adventure, but it pays to take some precautions in advance to make the most of your well-deserved break. Devote some time to securing your online accounts, mobile devices, and your personal information overall. First, avoid vacation scams. You may receive calls, emails, pop-up ads, or texts promising free or low-cost vacations, but many are quite the opposite. If a vacation offer sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Reach out to family and friends for travel companies or websites they have used and would recommend. A simple Google search of the company you are considering along with the word reviews can offer a wealth of information about the reputation of the company. Once you make your reservations and travel arrangements, make sure you get confirmation in writing. You may also want to confirm your arrangements for yourself directly with each vendor and get the details in writing. Paying for your trip by credit card gives you more protection than paying by cash, check, or debit card. Review written cancellation and refund policies before giving your credit card number. Before your trip, a few simple things you can do to protect yourself are tighten up security on your social media accounts and mobile devices. Make sure your phone and other mobile devices are password protected. Turn off the location services on your phone so the photos you post do not tag your location. Limit the information you share on social media while you're gone and adjust the settings on your social media accounts to only allow friends and family to view your posts. Contact your financial institutions by calling the number on the back of your credit card and debit cards to let them know your travel plans. Tell them where you will be and the dates so they will expect transactions outside of your normal purchases. This will also keep your account from being flagged and locked while you're on your trip. Contact your post office to put your mail on hold. Unattended mailboxes are a flag for identity thieves to steal your information or even break into where you're living. Don't carry your social security card in your purse or wallet and limit the credit and bank cards you take on your trip. You may, however, want to pack a second credit card and keep it in a different location in case your main card is lost or damaged. Make two copies of your passport, driver's license, credit cards, tickets, and hotel confirmation in case your originals are lost or stolen during your trip. Give one copy to a friend or family member at home and carry the other copy with you but in a location separate from the originals. Share your travel plans with family and friends. Develop a plan with the best way to reach you and set a code word or phrase to verify emergency calls. This is important because while you're away, imposters could reach out to friends or family and create fake emergencies to get money on your behalf. This is called the grandparent scam. While you're on vacation, only send sensitive information over password-protected and secure websites and avoid using public Wi-Fi networks. Keep your personal documents like your passport and airline tickets secure by using a room safe when available. Only carry your ID and credit cards when necessary, otherwise keep them in the safe also. Keep your mobile devices secure at all times, either in a room safe or on your person when in public. Always log out of all websites when not in use. Once you get home, any website you accessed on your trip was fair game for scammers. So change your passwords, especially for your email account. Over the next few months, monitor your bank and credit card accounts for any unrecognized purchases and check your credit report for unauthorized, new or unfamiliar accounts. Taking these simple steps before and after your trip can keep your dream vacation from turning into a nightmare. Find additional resources for consumers on the Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection website where you can find detailed fact sheets on a wide variety of topics. Enroll in Consumer Protection 101 by subscribing to our YouTube channel or following us on social media. More resources are available on the Consumer Protection 101 webpage at www.datcp.wi.gov.